Welcome back to the Iron Man, guys. And we're going to start this episode off like we finished the last one. We're going to be finish well, not finishing diaries, but just doing diaries in general. The Falador Easy just completed. I'll tell you something, though. I had to get a Mind Talisman. I had to craft a Mind Tiara right here. I need a Mind Talisman and obviously a Tiara. Obviously, Tiara is easy to get, just a bit, a bit of silver, simple. And I had to get a Mind Talisman. It's a common drop from Abyssal Leeches. I must have killed about 200 of the bastards to be able to get the fucking thing. I had a full inventory of other stuff and I was just like, is this thing ever going to drop? I also got a clue scroll, which is 1 in 256. The clue scroll, though, I'm going to kill myself for this, requires snakeskin chaps. That is 12 snakeskin hides. So I'm going to go back to Gauchuba bullshit, basically, and I'm going to hope to get 12 snakeskins very fast because I want to do this medium clue. Well, we've got 13 snake hide in the end i actually found a different way of doing it and i think there's an even better way of doing this these hoop snakes on fossil island where you normally do your birdhouse runs are right at the bottom of the mushroom meadow one the one in three chance i'm dropping snake hide i believe you can go to mosla harmus and have an always drop from the poison snakes level 25 variant but i didn't realize until i was doing these so i thought i might as well just get them here but that was a lot quicker than doing the jungle tree uh kind thing with the machete so if you ever need snake hide you can either kill these or there's someone muscle harms like i was on about level 25 poison variant they will always drop one but that was really easy i'm so glad that was easier than what i was originally expecting it to be oh, that's just i'm really happy with that it's medium clue scroll time guys i don't actually have that many medium clues done because medium clues aren't the easiest to obtain i'm not gonna lie i feel like medium clues are some of the hardest unless you actually specifically go for them but let's see if we get any luck. Like, Ranger Boots, obviously, would be the ideal thing. But obviously, I'm not expecting it. Let's see what we get. And it's absolutely terrible. An amulet of power. I think I actually lost my amulet of power in Wilderness Slayer. No, I didn't. Okay, I've got a spare. Well, it's not the best. But, you know, it's not the worst at the end of the day. Easy Western Province done. That wasn't a bad one at all. We don't really get anything out of it. Other than the fact that we got an antique lamp. The Western Province only really gets later. No good later on. Like, hard and elite, I personally think. There's, it's all right. You can get like the free ogre arrows if you really want to go for like the pet later on. You can stack up before you even get to the elite, but that's it's not really much special on an iron. I suppose it's nice, but on a main it's useless. But overall, it's not great at all. I actually got some blue dehyde chaps on the way here from the uh, eclectic imp. So yep, that's some free money. I'm not even sure if I have blue dehyde chaps. If I don't, and I've got them in the bank now for clues, but I think I do have a set or a pair, should I say? But that's pretty much most of the diaries done. The only ones we're missing now are Mauritania, Fremenic, and Desert Easies. Uh, for all the Easies, of course. Like I said, most of these mediums I'm probably going to be leaving unless I actually really need something from them. But this is just free herb lore at the end of the day. Easy Relica Diary. Oh, I, say, I always say Relica for this. Easy Fremenic Diary done. I'm looking at them more and more now, these diaries. And I'm thinking, oh, I want the mediums done. But it's whether or not I want them done now. It's just, I don't know, it's annoying me. Because I know there's such good things I can get from it. And just account progress from it would be it's so nice. But there's other things I know I want to work on as well. I'm not sure 100%. Like, you might just see me say I'm not going to do it next minute I'm doing it. Or vice versa. I'm not 100% sure how I want to go about it. But there's a couple ones which really aren't that bad. I really don't want to do ones like Western Provinces at the moment. Because there's a certain few things in there just annoy me. And it's not going to give me anything other than 7.5k uh, herbal experience, which obviously is nice. But at the moment, it's not on my priority list. The wilderness one is fairly easy. I believe I just need to complete a quest. I need to complete two quests, actually. So, no, I think just... Is it between a rock or under a rock? I'm not sure what it is. This and then the muddy chest. So it's, it's an awkward one, that one. Balador, I have to complete Rat's Pit. Or whatever it's called, Rat Pits. Which I've heard is quite long. Other than that, I can do pretty much all of this very, very easily. In fact, I can do all of it, I think. So that is very, very good. And the Falador diaries are always good. They are very nice. That'll give me a shortcut in the Motherload Mine as well for getting Prospector, I believe. Mauritania. This is a this diary is ridiculously easy. It's one of the easiest diaries to complete, I think, the Mauritania, up to hard at least. The easiest elite, in my opinion, is Fremenic. Other than the fact that you've got a 77 runecrafting requirement, but it's one of the lowest requirements out of all the others. But if you look, I really want to get this. This is an, I've already got the uh, whatever you want to call it for this. This, I think I can do with an agility boost. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can do it with an agility boost. I can do this. I can do this. I can do that. 
I can do all of it other than the hardest thing in this diary is this. The 70 prayer, 70 defense. I can, I'm not gonna lie, I've completely forgotten it's 70 defense. But 70 prayer is just a pain for me. I'm gonna need roughly 1,300 dragon bones on the chaos altar. That's just an average because it's got a 50% chance of not using your bone. And it's normally 2,600. But so if you say 1,300 to get me to 70 from where I am, I've currently got 200 banked. I don't have 1,100. I don't plan to camp dragons or anything. I'm just going to do them on task. But that diary is obviously going to be nice for Barrows at one point. Because that will be a hell of a lot of runes and obviously Barrows armor. But for now, I think maybe the Falador diary, potentially. I might not even do the easy desert. I might not do the easy Mauritania. I might work on some of the medium. Because they're going to give me more reward at the moment. Because of the pure fact that two easies, yes, they'll give me 2,500 experience. But a medium will give me probably a better reward, like a Falador medium was better reward than a Mauritania easy and a desert easy. Gives me more herb lore, so I don't know. You'll see what happens. There's the easy desert diary done. Honestly, that was one of the easier ones. And whilst I was doing it, I was sitting there thinking, oh, what, what diary is next? Because I want to do an, at least a medium. And if not the medium, I will 100% do the Mauritania easy. The only reason I've been putting this off is I need to get a Slayer task. I've currently got one. I don't want to skip it because it's spiders. Obviously, it's wilderness I'm talking about here. I need to get a Slayer task from the guy in Mauritania. So that means I'll have to do that task just to get this. I, I don't know. I just can't bother. Uh, obviously, I'm going to do it at one point. But as I was doing the desert, I noticed I've pretty much got most of the desert done. Medium diary, that is. The only thing here that I currently can't do is this one. Because I haven't done the quest. So if I just do this quest, I can do all of these very, very quick. All I need to do is just change my house to Palinovich. Go there. Go in the house. Chop some teak logs. Create a combat potion and travel to the desert via eagle. Like, this is literally the easiest diary for me to do right now. Because half the stuff's already done. Because I've done loads of stuff in the desert previously. So that's going to be the easiest medium. We're going to bash that one out right now. So Anchor's Lament is going to be next. Hopefully it won't take too long. I know the quest isn't that long itself. I've done it my main, but it was a long time ago. So I can't really fully remember it. Hopefully it won't be too long. We have to complete Anchor's Lament for a medium task in the diary. We then used a teleport from the Camula to go straight to where we needed to be, and that completed one of the medium tasks nice and easy. With Anchor's Lament complete and all the medium tasks, that is another easy and medium diary complete. 200 quest points as well. Forgot to show that. That's actually pretty nice. But if we talk to Jar, 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 sorry, we get the medium. Honestly, we get free teleport to Nada once per day. It's it's not great, but it's free experience for Herblor. That's the main reason I wanted to do this one. It was so easy for me to do that I thought I might as well do it. We're now only 5k away from 64 Herblor, which is great. And if we look at the, the list now, it's just it's so much more green. It feels so much better to have this stuff done. But now I think it is time I actually like work on the Mauritania diary. I'll get everything done but the Slayer task. I might even get everything in the medium done. And then we'll just turn it in all at once. I'm not 100% sure, but I might do that. Just got my Slayer task from the Mauritania Giza. So that means we have the easy Mauritania complete. Nearly the medium. I've been working on the hard as well. I've been doing slight bits of it. Uh, the medium, I just need to do a quest, I think. A couple of other things. It's a quest that's really long as well. So I'm kind of putting it off at the moment. Because <laughs> I don't really want to do it. But here's the easy reward. Which means we're also going to get more experience in Slayer Towers. This is re actually really good for my man because there's a lot of Slayer that's going to be happening there. This will go straight on Herb Lore. And one other thing I've got to show you is, of course, I finished off my Slayer Task to get this Slayer Task. And I had a Slayer Task of Spiders. I've had it once and I've done it up the north side of the wilderness. There's a hill with like absolutely tons of them. You've got level 24s and level 1s. I looked at the drop rate and supposedly, now that I see it, the drop rate of level 1s and 24s is the same. I don't know if that's wrong. I don't know, it's not, I can't say if it's right or wrong. But I feel like the level 1s, they've got 2 HP, they shouldn't have the same drop rate as level 24. So I've got a slight feeling it's wrong. But regardless, I've got a mysterious emblem from other spiders, which I was surprised about in the first place. And then I killed a level 1 one and got one straight after. <laughs> so we are now on 25 emblems, which means we can get a rune pouch. I think I'm just going to go buy it right now. I want to put these in here. We've now got every single diary item, at least level 1, which is really, really cool to see. We're going to go buy. We're going to trade all our emblems in at once because I want to see what I can buy in the shop. If there's anything interesting, I'm not really sure what's in the shop, if I'm completely honest with you. I haven't really looked. 
at what there is to offer. But I suppose we're about to find out, really, aren't we? Wait, did I? So let's find out. Let's go to Edgeville. Like I said, I have no idea what there is to offer here. But I imagine uh, there's something I'll be able to pick up with the rest of the emblem. So if we trade... Wait, no, I don't know how you do this. I think we talk to him. And then we sell your emblems to the trader. Yes. Oh, God, that is a lot of points. And if we trade, and we go down to room pouch, 1.2 mil. We've got the room pouch on the account, lads. We've got the room pouch on the account. I'm actually so happy about that. Oh, my God. And if we trade, there's one thing I'm interested in, I know, is this. It'll turn the magic shortbow imbued, so it's pretty decent, I think. Other than that, oh, there's the, oh my, there are a lot of points, okay. I suppose, climbing boot, how much are rune arrows? I'll get the magic shortbow imbued, I think, and then I don't know what the hell I'm going to do after, but that is a rune pouch on the account. Oh, it feels so fucking good. So with all these Slayer points that we got from Wildy Slayer, I thought it was about time I spent them. I checked through so many things of what I wanted to get. Bigger and Badder was on the priority list. I forgot Slayer Helms were only 400 points. I remembered there was recoloring them as a thousand. But there's Bigger and Badder ball. I thought that was such an important one. And a herb sack is also, I thought I had to get it because they'll just make things so much easier. Then after that, we end up getting a hard clue from Slayer, I believe. And I haven't had much luck with hard clues in all honesty. I'm really disappointed with my luck in hard clues. I've had luck elsewhere, but in this one we do get two uniques. We get our first blessing, which is great because it will help with certain tasks. And we get some bandos braces. I'm not sure if I ever need them for a clue. I still need to look into that. But it's another unique. It's kind of cool to the account. And this clip here, I'm really, really happy with it. We got to 70 Slayer. The Slayer grind is coming along very nicely. We're starting to unlock some of those decent tasks that are going to give us some really nice supplies. So overall, that's really nice. Let's see what we get in this hard clue. Now, I reached 70 Slayer on my last Slayer task, which was Blood Velds. I don't know if I've already explained this, but I've decided to not do Wildy Slayer because I'll get points out of it, yes. I had also a really bad newbie moment and thought Slayer Helms were 1k. That's the recolor them. I only need 400 Slayer points. I've spent all my Slayer points, as you've seen. I'm saving the rest. I'm going to save up for Slayer Rings and a Slayer Helm eventually, but that's not really important, to be honest. Most tasks that you don't use a Slayer Helm on, Things like Dust Devils, it doesn't matter too much because uh, you don't really need... You know, max hit's nice, but accuracy's not too bad on that. Upper Inspectors, you can use a Salve Amulet. Uh, I can't think of any else, anything else off the top of my head. But anyway, we got Blood Veld. I've done the Blood Veld task. We got 70 Slayer. I realised I had to train Defence for uh, Piety to be able to do more Tanya Hard. So I'm up to 63 Defence. Three levels in one task. It was great because it's still a low level, obviously. 63 Defence right now, working towards 70. We then hit 70 Slayer. And the first task we got, other than the fact that I skipped to because I got spiritual creatures, which is awful for me right now. And then the other one was, I forgot what the actual name of them are, but they're the scarabs that are underneath Softenem, which is absolutely horrible. I'm never doing that task. That's definitely a skip. I think it's a really low rate as well. But then we got Kurasks. So our first task we're doing at 70 Slayer is Kurasks. I've killed a few of them already. I'm not 100% sure. I've got some... Uh, I've got three 20 big bone drops. I'm not sure if I'm going to bury these. I suppose it's the only thing I can do. But I don't know if I'm going to do them at the Chaos Altar. I don't know how I'm going to do it because the experience isn't great. But I feel like I'm wasting them if I don't use them. But anyway, let's see what we get in this casket. See if we get anything good. And we got... I... <laughs> what the hell is my luck? It's absolutely awful. Honestly, I just want... I just want a... Black dehyde top or a god top. That is all I want. That's all I care for in clues right now. Is that specific item. We've got a blessing now. We just want a black dehyde top. And I keep getting chaps of some sort. And these... Oh, I just hate the game. Let's get... It, I suppose in a way... We'll drop this because we don't want it. In a way, it's a new best in slot. Because, you know what? For Fashionscape, we're going to be wearing them. Because, well, I've got no reason not to, right? So we're going to swap those two out and I guess just whack that in there. And what we're going to do is another rune plate legs. I'll end up alking them at one point. But that's that's just an awful clue. Rune axes, right? Yeah, let's have a look. We've got five rune axes. Do they even... Let's have a look. I'm not sure how much they out for. 
I'm going to probably out them anyway. 7.6k each. I should probably out those at one point. But I'm just leaving them in there for spares for some strange reason. See how many rune axes we can get, I guess. But that's where we're going to end the episode. That's, that's weird. My clue luck is honestly awful. A lot of my other luck is decent. But <laughs> clues, you get so many items that are so good. And you need luck in clues to be able to get stuff for, like later on. I'm going to need god dehide and stuff for bossing. Um, blessings, I'm going to need... Well, I don't, don't need it, but I'd like an unholy blessing because it'll help with bossing when I do bandos, for example. I won't have to wear a Zami robe or have a Zami spear or whatever, you know. It just makes those things that bit easier. But that is where we're going to end the episode. I feel like the account is coming along so, so nice. I'm actually so happy with it. I've now... I actually... I haven't showed it as well. I caught a load of Karambai Moss edit in my previous video. And then we cooked it. Uh, we got 355 cooked crown wine. I only burnt a few, which I was really happy with. I don't know the uh, Hosidius range because I forgot I had it until then. So that's the first time I've used it. There are 190 experience each crown wine, which is great. So the experience is really good. I plan to AFK fish quite a bit whilst I'm doing editing and just other stuff in general. Get loads of crown wines. Get loads. That's a, it's not loads of fishing experience, but a fair amount of fishing experience alongside a fuck ton of cooking because 190 experience per cook absolutely amazing and the fact that i believe you can either one tick or two tick them i'm not sure i did try it in the experience rates i think they're almost like double what you get so if i ever want fast cooking i can just do that but like i said that's the end of the episode guys i hope you did enjoy don't forget to smash the like button drop a comment down below and if you want to see more content on this channel don't forget to subscribe click that bell turn notifications on so you know when i upload and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out